Today, we're going to look at hijacking links using Switchy with our custom domains so that they stay there even after the link has been forwarded. And we're going to do this with a blank widget embed on Switchy, which might sound complex, but it's really not at all. So let's get started. I'm going to find an article first, and I'm going to come here using refines.com, and we're just going to pick a random article. Now, this does not work on some of the bigger news sites, but it does work on most blogs. So here is a great article. NFTs are all the rage right now. Uh, Seth's blog, Seth Godin that is. We're gonna copy this and we're gonna jump into Switchy and we're gonna switch this link. And we're gonna see if this one actually supports the widget embeds. Uh, if it does, you know, Seth Godin is absolutely huge as far as blogging, marketing, things of that nature. And you'll find a surprising amount of these things it actually works on. So we can come down here and then we can just turn on the embed widget and we're gonna, it's actually working and we're gonna be able to add a new embed widget. And we're gonna give our widget a name and then under custom HTML, I'm gonna do a paragraph and then I'm just gonna do a space and then I'm gonna close the paragraph. So we're just gonna have a space on our custom HTML and then we can display it on landing, it really doesn't matter. And then we'll just click create. Our script is now added, so we need to select our script and let's select our blank widget demo script and get my new link. So now our link has been switched. Let's copy this. And I probably should have done a prettier permalink, but uh, needless to say, this will do. And let's just go to this link inside of an incognito window. And what we'll see is our link up here is switched and we have now kind of hijacked Seth Godin's blog. Now, personally, I would not recommend doing this always for established blogs and things of that nature, even if you can, you know, it's probably not the best uh, precedent to set. However, there are use cases where this is very helpful. One of these use cases is a Google document. So we can come here and we can say, this is a Google doc, and then I can share this Google doc, and we're gonna go ahead and name it, this is a Google doc, and we're gonna share it so that anyone on the internet with the link can view. We'll copy the link, jump into Switchy, and we're gonna switch our Google Doc link. And I'm gonna add a customized domain name. You know, you can name it sales proposal, whatever. You can customize the link with your own graphic. You can customize the title, all of that, which is gonna show up on social media. And down here under advanced options, we're gonna just you know embed our widget one more time, throw the blank widget demo on it that we created in this video and click get my new link. And we have now hijacked Google Docs. So this is a better use case perhaps than you know stealing uh, Seth Godin's blog but there are very good use cases for why you would want to use a blank widget because we have now just taken over Google Docs and we can use this link if we have, you know, any type of sales training material or training material, uh, docs in general that we're just trying to share and remember the link to. I mean, how many times do you have something that you wish that you could reference and you just don't remember the actual link? I know it happens to me a lot or it used to. Now I just do switchy and let's log into Notion and I have an audit SEO uh, analysis, this was my description. I'm gonna copy that link, jump into Switchy, and we're gonna try to switch it. And we will get the uh, switching, you know, we can create that URL forwarding, but we cannot actually embed a widget. And not all sites let you embed a widget. It'll say your link does not allow the embed script. And then you can click learn more and it'll tell you why not. But essentially it has to do with the fact the embed widgets only work on sites that support iframes and not every site does that. So hopefully this video brought you some value. If it did, hit that like button, subscribe if you wanna see more content like it. If you have not picked up Switchy yet, there's a link in the description. It is one of my favorite tools. I'm gonna to be making a lot more videos on this because a lot of people are asking different ways to use it, all the creative ways. And there are just so many. Every day I'm finding new ways. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Thank you.